Hey everyone, today we're going to be reviewing composite area and nets. So first thing we're going to do is review area of triangles and quadrilaterals. In our last lesson, we went over area of circles. I put that formula on here because you will need it, but right now we're just going to review triangles and quadrilaterals. So remember in triangles and quadrilaterals, those formulas have B and H. The base is B, the height is H, and they always form a right angle. So let's start with this triangle right here. The base and the height would be 12 and 6 since those form the right angle. So now that I have the base and the height, I can use the area of a triangle formula, which is 1 half times the base times the height times the height to find the area. So we will do one half times our base was 12 times the height was six to find the area. One half times 12 is six. So the area will be six times six, which is 36 centimeters squared. Okay, number two, this is a parallelogram. So I'm gonna use the formula area. Number two is a parallelogram. So I'm gonna use the formula area equals base times the height to find the area of this figure. The base would be 17 and the height would be nine since those form the right angle. So the base is 17 and the height is nine. So to find the area, I'll do the base of 17 times the height of 9. And we get 153 feet squared for the area of this parallelogram. Okay, this last shape is a trapezoid since I have two parallel sides. And I will use this formula, one half times the bases added together times the height. So let's go ahead and write down that formula. It'll be one half times base one plus base two times the height. So I'm gonna go ahead and label those things. 10 would be the height. And then I'm gonna let 22 be the first base and 20 be the second base. Okay, so to find the area, I'm just gonna plug into this formula. It'll be one half times the first base was 22 plus the second base was 20 times the height of 10. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add the bases together. So the area will be one half times 22 plus 20 is 42 times the height of 10. So the area will be, I'm gonna do one half times 42 next, which is 21 times the height of 10 and 21 times 10 is 210. So the area is 210 meters squared. So now we're gonna look at finding the area of composite figures. So composite figures are just a shape made up of basic shapes like this one. So to find the area, you'll identify those basic shapes that make up the composite figure. You'll find those areas and add them together. So let's look at number four. It says the figure shown is composed of a trapezoid, a quarter circle, and a triangle. What is the area of the figure in square centimeters? So what I want to do is find the area of the trapezoid, the quarter circle, and the triangle. And then I will just add those three areas together to find the area of the whole figure. So let's start by finding the area of the trapezoid. I'm gonna highlight that in blue. And I'm gonna start by writing down the area of a trapezoid formula. which is one half times the bases added together 
times the height. So I need the two bases and I need the height of this trapezoid. Nine and seven are my bases, and then six is my height. So to find the area, I'll do one half times the bases of nine plus seven added together times the height of six. So first thing I'm going to do is add nine plus seven and I get 16. So the area is one half times 16 times six. One half times 16 is eight. So I get eight times six for my area. So the area of this trapezoid is 48 centimeters squared. Okay, next thing I'm going to find is the area of this quarter circle, which is a fourth of a circle. So I'll find the area of the full circle with this same radius of seven, and then I'll divide it by four. So the area of the circle, we will do pi r squared, and then we'll divide it by four. So let's start by doing 3.14 times seven squared, since that was the radius of the circle. And seven squared is 49. So I need to do 3.14 times 49. And I get that the area of the full circle with a radius of seven is 153.86. So now I need to do 153.86 divided by four to find the area of that quarter circle. And I get that the area of the quarter circle is 38 point, I'm gonna go ahead and round that to five centimeters squared. So we have the area of the trapezoid, we have the area of the quarter circle. Now I just need to find the area of the triangle and then we can finally find the total area of this composite figure. So to find the area of a triangle, I'll do one half times the base times the height. So I need the base and the height of this triangle. This distance right here would be the base of the triangle, which is the radius of the circle, so that is also seven. So there's my base, and then the base and the height form a right angle, so that means that the height of the triangle is 12. So to find the area of the triangle, I'll do one half times seven times 12. And I'm gonna multiply one half times 12 first, since that's easier to do than one half times seven. One half times 12 is six. So to find the area of this triangle, I'll do six times seven. So the area of this triangle is 42 centimeters squared. So now I have all three areas. The area of the trapezoid was 42. Sorry, the area of the trapezoid was 48. The area of the circle, the quarter circle was 38.5. And then the area of the triangle was 42. So now I just add them together to find the area of this whole shape. And I get that the area of this composite figure is 128.5 centimeters squared. 
Next thing we're going to look at is area of shaded regions. So you want to identify the basic shapes, find the area of each of those shapes, and then we will subtract the smaller area from the larger area to find the area of the shaded region. So let's look at this figure right here. This figure is made up of a square, a parallelogram, and a circle. We want to find the area of the shaded region. So the first thing that we will do is find the area of this larger square that I am shading blue. And then we will subtract the area of the parallelogram and the circle from it. But let's start by finding the area of that blue shaded region. It is a square. They gave us one side length of 14, so that means the other side length is 14 as well, since it's a square. So area of the square can be found by doing the base times the height which are both 14. So I'll need to do 14 times 14 to find the area of this square. And I get 196 feet squared for the area of the square. Next, I'm going to find the area of this parallelogram. So the area of a parallelogram can be found by doing the base times the height, which would be 13 for the base and seven for the height. So to find the area of the parallelogram, we would do the base times the height which is 13 times seven. And I get that the area of the parallelogram is 91 feet square. Okay, last shape I need to find the area of is the circle. So this circle has a diameter of seven, which means that it has a radius of half of that. So to find the area of a circle, we will do pi r squared. So we will do 3.14 times 3.5 squared. So the first thing that I will need to do is 3.5 squared, 3.5 times itself. So 3.5 squared is 12.25. So now to find the area of this circle, I need to do 3.14 times 12.25 or 12.25 times 3.14. So the area of the circle is 38.465. I'm going to round that to 38.5 feet squared. So now to find the area of the shaded region, I will take the larger area of 196 and subtract 91 and 38.5 from it. I'm going to start by doing 196 minus 91. and I get 105 for 196 minus 91. Now I'm going to subtract 38.5 from this. And I get that the area of the shaded region is 66.5 feet squared. 
Last thing we're gonna do is surface area of 3D shapes with nets. So this is the net of a pyramid. A net is basically just a composite figure. So if they're asking you to find the surface area, you're just gonna find the area of the different parts that they're asking for. So total surface area is the area of all the shapes that make up the net and add them together. And then lateral surface area is the area of all the shapes except for the bases added together. So on this one, it's asking for the total surface area of the net of the square pyramid shown. So I'm finding the area of all of these shapes and adding them together. So I see the base right here. It is a square since they told me that this is a square pyramid. So to find the area of that square, we'll do the base times the height. Area of the square, we'll do base times the height, which are both gonna be six here. So the area of that square is 36. feet squared. Okay, then I have four triangles that are all going to be the same size. So I'll just find the area of one of the triangles and multiply it by four. So to find the area of a triangle, we will do one half times the base times the height. So this side length is also six since that blue shape is a square. So that is the base of the triangle and then the height is four. So to find the area of one of the triangles, I'll do one half times the base of six times the height of four. So I'll do one half times six is three times four. So the area of one triangle is 12 feet squared. But there are four of those triangles. So that means the area of the triangles is 48 feet squared in total. So now that I have the area of the square base, which is 36, and the area of the four triangles, which is 48, I can add those together to find the total surface area of this pyramid. Let's say it is 14. 1 plus 3 plus 4 is 8. So that means that the total surface area of the square pyramid is 84 feet squared.